My name is DK Pan, and I'm primarily a performance artist. I'm also the co-founder of the Free Shoot Foundation, along with Nico. My name is Nico, and I'm a visual artist and a semiotician. Ever since I was a child, I've always wanted to be invisible. And in this moment of ultimate visibility in front of the camera, I feel like this is about the best I can do. DK and I, when we came up with the name Free Sheep Foundation, were kind of considering the sheep in relationship to the flock and whether a sheep that's apart from the flock is lost or simply wandering. Our intention is basically to open up the space where certain dialogues can happen, to basically be an advocate for wild places. So this is Free Sheep Foundation. This is our gallery. It's located on 3rd and Battery in Belltown. This is my installation. It's called uh, Dislocated Language and Secret Signs. The Free Sheep Foundation seeks to partner with government agencies and developers to open disused spaces for artists. This installation is by local artist No Touching Ground. He's a local street artist and does a lot of work with wheat pasting. Well, all of art at its base is about mark making. And graffiti has a long history. It goes back to the cave paintings at LaSalle and to Roman political graffiti. In terms of like how graffiti exists in a contemporary environment, I feel like it competes with advertising. And that's something that's really important because it's this, it symbolizes democracy in public space. Development is so rampant everywhere in Seattle that I feel like this is hungry to like at least mark these events. Like a lot of the stuff we've done in the past, like the bridge, um, Bridge Motel, the Belmont, and like the Luscious Studios, which was down on Pioneer Square, and 562, which was down on First Avenue, all kind of engender like or dealt with marginal spaces and marginal populations. I was one of the main organizers of the, the bridge, and uh, Nico was one of the main artists. A number of artists that collaborated turning um, a motel, a CD motel off of Aurora into a multi-room installation with um, different uh, kind of mural graffiti type stuff on the walls and uh, different performance things. The Belmont was an apartment building on Capitol Hill, which we took over and had 10 rooms of installation and a performance on the roof. I feel like both DK and I have, like over the years through the projects that we've done, have worked towards developing a real democratic idea of who can be involved in an artistic process and also who has access to that art. Uh, tonight we have the closing celebration for the first installation cycle. It's called the uh, Gutter Dandy Gala. Yes, so there will be some fine looking gutter punks here. <laughs> What we do is take an artistic process and turn that into a social experiment. Mm -hmm.